EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, your challenge awaits. Can you fulfill that solo challenge? Time to find out. It is indeed the solo challenge, and it's Madden Ultimate Team time. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away, and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They'll be led out by their veteran quarterback, the former Purdue Boilermaker. It's Drew Brees. Drew Brees prepares as well as any quarterback, I believe, in NFL history. Meticulous in his preparation, diligent. This guy studies everything, works through everything, and will not leave the facility until he's satisfied each and every practice day. Here come the Vikings now as they get set on first down and 10. Right. Here we go. Ready. 95, 56. Ready. 12, 12, 12. Ready. Kill, kill, kill. 95, 56. 21, 21. Pick the edge. Pick the edge. Kill, kill. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. This is caught inside the 15. A big gain there on the first play of the game. 63 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. To throw is Breeze. That's caught. And it's very quickly 8 to nothing. Opening drive, touchdown, opening drive, touchdown, and two-point conversion. Amazing nowadays for the kickers. I've actually talked with a few of them. They're more concerned about the point after touchdown than actually missing regular field goals. So maybe the coach is taking some pressure off here and just going for two and saying, I'm saving you for the big stuff later. He's hanging out by the net. So here come the Ravens with their first look on offense. The MVP of Super Bowl 47 leading his crew out there from Delaware, it's Joe Flacco. 
And what a bounce back from the knee injury he suffered in the 2015 season. Not the most nimble, most mobile quarterback, but he never was. He's really a throwback to those quarterbacks who played out of the pocket in the days gone by. Now a carry here for Terrence West. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. They'll run again here with West. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Third and long for Joe Flacco. And this is going to be incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Returnable here from the 38. Look at the spin. Balance. <laughs> They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice. It all came together, but I'll bet you it got galvanized. In and at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. It's a big one there for the Vikings. 47 yards. Alert, alert. Three now, ready. They'll run it with Jackson. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. No chance. No chance. On second down, here's Breeze. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to it. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points, get that zero off the board. On the ground, it's West again. And he'll get this one up to the 26. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's gonna set up third and nine. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Danny Trevathan in there to drop him for a loss of 10, and it'll be fourth and long. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye, that happened fast. Here's Sam Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away.
Taking it about the 36. Fighting through, and he's got space. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Hoping now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. <laughs> Touchdown, Vikings! A big play there on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns, and the Vikings are going to add.